my name is Rachel McDonough, and this is my friend. Hi, I'm Susanna. And we're here at the beautiful Madison Square Garden for the big fight, and you are watching True School Sports. The untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I don't know how bad the wind sounds on the camera, but my apologies if it does. I'm on my way to yet another day of boxing at Bay to Bay Boxing Gym. I'm uh, doing a rare evening slash night training session, so looking pretty forward to it. But what I wanted to talk about while I'm on my way to the gym is... Um, what I believe to be the most significant and important fight remaining in, in 2020. Now, I know a lot of people right now are gassed on Canelo versus Caitlin Smith, and no doubt about it, that is an important fight. But it pales. Yes, I said it pales in comparison to what we have on December 31st in Japan. It's Japan versus Japan. You know, two Japanese boxing stars taking each other on in the super flyweight division. It's Kazuto Ioka versus my main man, Kosai Tanaka, for the WBO Super Flyweight Championship. Now, for those of you who aren't as well versed on these fighters, you may ask, what makes this fight so damn significant? Well, I just told you guys, it's Japan versus Japan. So it's two of the, it's two of the most significant fighters in Japanese boxing, aside from Inoue. Fighting in this fight, you have Kazuta Aoka, you know, the first uh, four division Japanese world champion, you know, in the history of boxing. On one side, 26 and two, been in there, did it against some top opposition. Then you got Kosai Tanaka, you know, a guy who, in my opinion, already, already has a, has a pound for pound top ten claim in his career. You know, he's only 24 years old. He's already a three division champion. He's the quickest fighter in the history of Japanese boxing to win a world title. He won a world title in two weight classes in the same amount of time as Lomachenko. I believe it was five or six fights, something like that, seven fights. He's never fought anybody with a losing record in his entire boxing career. As good as he is and as good as the hardcore boxing community knows Kosai Tanaka is, I still feel that on a grander stage amongst, you know, your average hardcore boxing fans, he is probably one of boxing's best kept secrets. So when you talk about that kind of significance and that kind of history, and then you put it in the context of being in the super flyweight division, a division that already has fighters like Roman Chatu Gonzalez, Guy Juan Francisco Estrada, Guy Estrada, uh, Rung Basai, Carlos Quadras, um, and a whole host of other fantastic fighters. These two are fighting for the chance to put their name in the hat. Joanna, Joanna Cas is well, we can't forget about the IBF champion. Joanna Cas from the Philippines, Philippines stand up. You know, we can't, it can't be stated enough how important this fight is uh, for the legacy of both fighters, both come from Japan, um, and for where they're gonna go moving forward with their careers in the super flyweight division. Now, um, you know, Tanaka, and for me personally, He's the favorite in this fight. I know a lot of people are picking Kazuta Ioka, but I just think, I think Tanaka, while Ioka's had a fantastic career and made some history and he's a special fighter in his own right, I think Kosai Tanaka is, you know, he's on that, he's on that tier with like the Inoue of the world. Like he's on that, on that kind of tier. I think he's that damn talented. Um, and i will be shooting for his fourth weight division title already at the age of 24 years old. This is unprecedented shit we're seeing from Kosai Tanaka. And, um, you know, should he go on there and beat Ioka and do it in a sensational fashion, which I think he will, um, you know, another, that, that's another superstar in the, in the super, flyweight, super flyweight division. And then, and then that opens up a whole kind of, a, a bunch of opportunities for him to maybe fight Julio Cesar Martinez or Omar Gonzalez. You know, I think it'd be best for boxing if Tanaka won this fight. But either way, it's going to be a great fight. Um, Ioka's a guy that's been in there, you know, um, fucking fight. When we talk about Kazuta Aoka, we're talking about a guy that's beaten the likes of um, Akiri Agashi and McWilliams Arroyo. He's only lost to Don Nietzsche and Amnat Ruerong. So he's a, he's a damn good fighter, a quality fighter. Um, and, you know, he's the older of the two. So, like, I'm not really sure how many big fights he has left in him. But you would be led to believe that there's not, it, it, even, if, even if he's got fights left, very few will be as important to... Very few will be as important to... Uh, the super flyweight division and the country of Japan more than this one. So this, this, this is, this is, this is, it's not a super fight in America. It's not even a super fight when you talk about most hardcore boxing fans. But for those that are truly, 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 truly in the know, you understand the importance of this fight. You know, shout out to my main man, um, Mark from Unrivaled Boxing Talking News and Julius from Ring IQ Boxing, boxing Talk, two of the pillars, the great pillars 
of the YouTube boxing community. They've been going back and forth in this fight forever. So it's, it sparked a lot of debate between the most hardcore of the hardcore boxing fans. And um, it's going to be a hell of a fight. Now, if we look at, like, you know, I, I, I haven't looked at the measurables. I don't got it in front of me. But, like, I feel like, you know, Ioka, he's already fought the best he's ever going to fight in his career. I don't think he can fight much better than he's already fought. We've seen him lose to the likes of, um, not to say it's a bad thing, but, like, he lost to Donnie Nietzsche's. Um, and I feel like Donnie Nietzsche's and Tanaka are on that same tier, like on that same creme de la creme, top of the top, the best of the best type of tier. Um, so there's no shame in losing to a guy like Tanaka. I just think Tanaka, at this stage of his career, with the way he's evolving, with the level of opposition he's fought, you know, he beat uh, Ry Ryoichi Taguchi, you know, another fantastic fighter in Japan. Never fought, a f he's never fought one fight. I mean, you gotta look at that in perspective, right? I, I think he's got about 15 fights or 13 fights or whatever he's got. However many fights he's got, he's never fought one fighter, not one fighter in his whole entire boxing career with a losing record. So that that, that's, that, that kind of, that speaks to a lot, of, that, that speaks volumes about what Tanaka's doing in his career, how he's progressing. And, um, you know, years ago, we didn't get Anaya Inouye to fight these top guys at Smith Flyweight because it just didn't happen for him, you know, and he outgrew the weight class. And um, I, it's, 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 really, it's really the only knock on what's been a truly perfect career, pretty much, for Inouye. Um, but I feel like Tanaka's got a chance to do what Inouye didn't do, which is fight these big names at 115. And that, like, like, like I said, um, he's got to obviously get past Ioka, which is not going to be the easiest fight at all. But if he does, I, I want to see him get in there with uh, whoever, whoever wins this fight, really. Whoever wins this fight, I want to see Julio Cesar Martinez move up and fight uh, these guys next. But you know, I, don't, I don't know how realistic it is. But this is the biggest fight of the year. You're going to get this, the speed, the combinations, the, the defensive prowess, um, just the complete overall boxing skill set of Kosai Tanaka. And what he's bringing to the table against Kazuda Aoka, one of the most tried and true and battle-tested veterans in the sport. Um, it's, it's truly a, a, a super fight in Japan. It's truly, in my opinion, when we talk about the uh, super flyweight division, I think it's a super fight. And uh, no, no disrespect to Canelo Alvarez or anybody else fighting this year, but this is the only fight this year. This is, this is the fight that matters the most that's left on this calendar year, so... It'll, I'm not sure what time they're going to fight. I'm sure it'll be a, a weird random time because I'm sure they're fighting in Japan. But um, whatever time they fight, whether it's at 2 in the morning, 2 in the afternoon, 8 at night here in America, we're, we're going to be going live for this fight because this is a fight that deserves attention. It deserves coverage. And I'm, I'm, looking, at, I'm looking at who might be, who you never know. I'm looking at who might be a potential opponent for my main man, Roman Child, Tito Gonzalez. You know, I got I to gotta, I gotta make sure... Um, and I'm familiar with Ioka and Tanaka, but I want to get even more familiar with Ioka and Tanaka as far as the boxing uh, skills and uh, whatnot is concerned. So it'll be a chance for me to see uh, who, who Charles Tito might have to fight in the future, you know, because I'm a big Charles Tito fan. And I love watching the, 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 the Super Flyweight division because these are, these are the, um, this weight class, is, it seems to be one of the only classes in boxing where the fans get, like, like the majority of the time, unless through some sort of crazy circumstances, the fans normally get, 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 get to see the fights they want to see. So, um, yeah, man. Let me know what you guys think. Who are you favoring in the comments down below? Um, Tanaka, Ioka. I got Kosai Tanaka. I, I think he's special. I think um, yeah, I, haven't, I, haven't come, I haven't come out with my pound for pound uh, top 10 list, but, you know, he's, he's going to be pretty high on it. Higher than most. You know, mo mo most people don't even have Tanaka on the pound for pound list, but he'll, he'll, be, he'll be somewhere on my pound for pound list. Um, We'll see where he winds up once I actually sit down and think about why I rank all these fighters in boxing. But leave your comments down below. Make sure you take the time to subscribe. I'm going to go to the gym and enjoy a beautiful evening training session. Beta Bay Boxing Gym. And um, like I say in every single video, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. This is Denise and Stroud, and you're watching True School Sports. All right, thank you.